What's good with y'all? It's Draco. Today, I'm in the shop with it. I just wanted to show you guys my setup, what my barbershop looks like, you know what I'm saying? On a normal day, I'd come in at the time I come in, and we got all these nice stations here. Right, right, right. And then we're gonna get to my station right here. This is my setup with it. You know, we got the uh, got the seniors and we got the magic clips. Uh, we got the motherfucking um, fabulous trimmers, T outliners, box shaver guards, sprays. Yeah, I got my tools right here. I got my shears. Got the these are called the purple dragons. A little bit hairy right now. I need to disinfect them, but. Shout out to my boy Vinny, put me on with these. Got the, uh, Jesus Christ. Got the thinning shears too. Purple dragons I highly recommend. Real sharp, ended up cutting myself. But this is my setup pretty much. You know, you always wanna have your main clipper, which is the seniors, right? Got my main clipper, cordless seniors. Keep this. Ceramic blade, zero gap. Do you see that? Hold on, let me get. Look at that zero gap. Woo! Same thing with my magic clips. Ceramic blade, zero gapped. And then as a barber, you should always have a drawer of backup spray. So this is, you know what I'm saying? I got my backups right here. I just wanted to show you the barbershop, the setup. TV. This is my father's station, actually. My dad also cuts hair with me here at Barber Cuts. You know, he's rocking the, the cordless masters with it. If you saw my last video, I was talking about how my father uses the masters, how I thought I needed to learn how to use them too, but I'm a wall guy, as you can see. Got the cordless T-outliner. Stop playing with this man. Um, box shaver, neck strips, sprays. Got the Louis V cape. And then I'm not gonna go too much into the other barber stations. Um, I'm not trying to be rude or disrespectful, so that's their stations. I'll give you a quick little glance, but yeah, common common, uh, common barbershop rules. Don't touch nobody's stuff if they ain't yours. I'll touch my father's stuff all day. My father ain't gonna say nothing about it, neither. I'll go ahead and fuck this whole shit up if I want to. I'll go ahead and show you guys these nice setups. Everyone's setup's pretty nice, you know? For the most part, everybody keeps their stuff clean. Very nice. We got the uh, fish tank in the shop. What? You know, if you ever need to buy any quick supplies on the go, my barbershop owner, he provides gels, cool care, neck strips, blades. Also, we got our oils over here, some jewelry. Don't buy jewelry from a barbershop. Gels, vending machines, mini fridge, waiting area. Very nice shop, very nice shop. Barber Cuts Incorporated, check me out on Oakdale and Pulaski. Tree. And yeah, this is pretty much your basic everyday barbershop. I've been working here since about June, July, since July, and it's December now. So I'm gonna be here for a hot little minute. I really love my job. I love where I'm at and what I do. You know, when I'm here on downtime, right? Right now it's downtime. Like I could take a cut right now. On downtime, you really gotta make the most of your time, just a period in life. But you know, on my downtime, I'm usually recording or editing a video here at the shop. This is where I'm gonna get the bulk of my recording done when I'm not cutting hair here. You know what I'm saying? Cause you have a lot of downtime to wait for customers. Yeah, I like to uh, edit videos, upload them, check my analytics and whatnot. And y'all, I'm gonna actually set that stuff up right now. So getting right back to it, what I do with my downtime, I got the Xbox, you know what I'm saying? Brand new Xbox setup with the little TV. I could use these TVs, but I'd rather just use my own TV. I own that Xbox and this TV. And obviously, you know, I have my games on here. And this is what I do when I wait for cuts. You know what I'm saying? If, I, if I've if i already edited a video on my laptop here, you know, we got the MacBook Pro. You know what I'm saying with it? So usually my go-to is to edit videos and stuff like that. But, you know, maybe maybe a day where I'm, I don't feel like uploading or... Or whatever the case may be, if I'm waiting for cuts and I have lots of downtime, you know, I jump right onto the Xbox and enjoy myself while I'm at the shop, you know? Yeah, y'all, I just wanted to show y'all my day-to-day, -day, you know what I'm saying? What it looks like for me at the shop personally. It's Tuesday right now, it's kind of slow, it's kind of dead. I took care of two people so far. I made about 90 bucks, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty much it. That's life of me as a 21-year-old barber. I just turned 21 recently, so yeah, 21 years old, this is what I'm doing. 
like I said before, there's no there's no better shop. I mean, there's no better job in the world than cutting hair to me. Just with all the freedom and leeway you have. Like I said today, I made $90 today. Some people work a whole shift and don't even make $90. You know what I'm saying? And I still have two more appointments later and then plus any walk-ins. So the money's there. Your time to do other things is also here. You know, of course, I want to get to the point where I'm booked and I don't have time to do either of these things while I'm here. But like I said, as you're building the process, you know what I'm saying? I make this fun for me. Say what you want, but I make this process fun for me. I make it interesting. I build other businesses. I have fun. I make money. You know what I'm saying? That's what I love about the barber industry is it's all up to you. If you want to sit here and be bored all day, you can do that. If you want to sit here and do whatever the hell you want to do, you can do that. Um, but yeah, that's it. I pretty much just wanted to show you guys the shop that I work at, what I do, my daily routine, and that's pretty much it. I got some haircut tutorials coming in the future, but if you like this video, subscribe, share it, whatever. I'm out.